Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episode, we uh, made our way through the second half of the Wayward Cave, which turned out, uh, despite it being a big maze that ended up with uh, an item at the end of it, it wasn't the item we were looking for. We did have a weird encounter with a random Gabite that showed up, but other than that, uh, it was a big dead end. So we headed back over to Route 207 to enter Mount Coronet. However, before we entered it, Lucas showed up and was like, hey, I'm doing all right. How are you doing? And fought us. So we won. So he's doing less than all right now. But yeah, he gave us a Versus Seeker. So eventually we'll, we'll be able to start rematching some people that we've already beaten before. I don't think it works until we hit three badges, though. So kind of pointless right now. Uh, but we made our way through Mount Coronet South, which took us... Uh, we met up face to face with that mysterious guy that we've seen twice now. We saw him at Lake Verity, and we saw him at Eterna City, standing in front of the statue. And he said some suspicious stuff, and then walked away. Meanwhile, we made our way through the cave uh, to Route 208. Uh, so, this episode, we're going to be continuing our way through Route 208, because we're so, so close to our first city on in Sinnoh East. Which is surprisingly a lot bigger than Sinnoh West. I think. Let me take a look at the map, just to get just to get my memory back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's all of these towns in Sinnoh East, or Sinnoh West. Technically, that's north. That's not west. But, I mean, Mount Coronet is right here, and it's the thing that separates the entire country. Uh, and then everything over here is in Sinnoh East, so. Cool! And as we can see from the map, there's a big city coming up. I already beat you. Didn't beat you. This karate man's going to pulverize you. Rude! He's got one Pokemon. How bad can it be? I shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> He's level 29 Pokemon. We're gonna get creamed, just watch. Oh, you could have burned him. Yikes! He's burning me! I lived. Oh, there's no way Skull does it again. There's no way Skull... You know what? I'm gonna heal. Since I have the healing supplies. I could switch to Dwight, who Machoke will probably have no chance of hitting. I'm up! I'm woken up. Yikes. Okay, I'm, yeah, you know what? We're gonna switch. <laughs> We're gonna switch just because I don't feel like Kendrick will be able to get that hit. I mean, it's an orange, but it's in like the higher tier of orange where it's not exactly halfway, which sucks. I wish the, I wish or, orange health meant half health. It'd be so nice. Because it continuously tricks me. Pulverize. Hey, you uh, put up a small fight. I might need to start training my Pokemon again. We, I mean, we haven't been fighting all the trainers, but we haven't been really training, training. So I'm worried that our Pokemon are going to get a little weaker. I mean, we had to train a 28 just to fight the gym leader of the previous gym. And uh, we're getting kind of close to the next gym. So... Eww. We got Swords Dance here. Another path here that we cannot take. Yeah. Can't do that one yet. There's a waterfall. Our first waterfall that we've seen. I think. There's one right there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a fisherman guy down there that we can't reach because we don't have Surf to reach him. Oh, there's definitely an item below me, isn't there? <laughs> You're just a little kid. How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? Wow, Aegis. He has one Pokemon. I hope it's a Magikarp. Alright, that's mean. I feel mean calling a Marowak a Magikarp now. But also more mean because it's a ground type and it's gonna die here. Oh, it lived. Burn it! Yes! <laughs> 
Aha, Swords Dance. That'll surely get me. I've been... I've been God. Goodbye. Level 29 for Brent. He's now higher level than Anthony. Moon Blast. Uh, I will forget a move. Apparently Soft Boiled's better than uh, Wish. Because I guess Wish is a two-turn move. What does Moon Blast do exactly? 9,500. It's a special. Draining Kiss is... 7,500. It restores HP. We'll get rid of it. I do more damage. It's the same accuracy. And, uh... It has more moves. Oh my, a big man like me got scored by a little kid like you. How close is Brent to evolving? It's a good question. Let's find out. He's at two hearts. That means the next time he levels up, he will evolve. I do have rare candy. <laughs> I do have a rare candy. How m And he did just level up, so he'd be like the perfect person to use it on. I was saving it for Kendrick. 1700. How much does Kendrick need to level up? Eh. Oh god, you need a lot to level up. You need even more. Oh yeah, I gotta find out what's, what's like experience curve you're got, you guys are on. Because some of you are going to be on, like, normal. Some of you are going to be on, like, medium, slow, or slow. Is the difference between a Pokemon needing, like, a million experience to... I haven't grabbed the item. A million experience at level 100 and, like, one point... One and a quarter million to hit level 100. It might not mean all that much right now when we're in the 30s, but it's going to quickly bounce up. Okay, there's an item down there in that empty patch of grass. Call me the Echo Man. Battle with me. Yahoo! Alright, I chose that voice. Out of, out of nowhere. Alexander. Oh, another one Pokemon trainer. Oh, this thing's gonna explode in my face. I better kill it now. I'm so glad I'm faster. I better kill it now. Whew! Well, that was dangerous. Oh, you lay. Here's good advice from the Echo Man. If you're at a loss as to where you should be going, check the town map. I just did. Ether. All right, we got a lot of grass down here. That trainer can't see me. <laughs> it's a mushroom and it's tiny. Oh, there's a guy down here. Ha, huh, he didn't appear on the map. Did he appear on the map? And I'm just blind? He might be blind. He is kind of hidden by the tree. Oh, yeah, he is right there. Oh, yeah, I am blind. Okay. Oh, the, that uh, ether he picked up was surrounded by rock smash rocks. It's so amazing finding out which... Uh, what's been erased from the map. Oh. Don't say a word. Just take it. Oh. Oh. Don't go to Route 209. Listen to the stone pillar. I wonder if this is going to be, like, super easy. Because this item is supposed to be super difficult to use. Not, well, not difficult. More like very time-consuming. And difficult. Vital item that is needed to keep a stone tower from collapsing. Voices can be heard from it occasionally. Y yikes. Ah, I got past you. I got past you. We do have a house here. I'm just going to steal their berries quickly. See, I... I I want to see what wild Pokemon there are on this route. And maybe we could train Brent up to level 30. Or 29? What level Brent? He's 29. Level 30. Let's get him to 30. What is this? Berry Master's house. Ooh, free berries available. Yes, please. 
What are you doing here? Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. Get in a papa berry. Berries are gifts of nature. I encourage you to feed berries to Pokemon. That will make Pokemon happy. Seeing that, people will be motivated to plant more berries. And that will make Sinnoh a greater, more natural place. Greener! Certain kinds of berries need lots and lots of water. Um, would you like some mulch? If you're going to grow berries, mulch is a good fertilizer. Oh yeah, mulch. What does mulch do again exactly? I'm trying to remember. Mulch. Let's see. Growth mulch. Okay, I mean, these should be obvious just based on their names. Growth mulch makes, uh, you, you put this in the ground before planting a berry and uh, growth mulch will make the berries grow faster. Uh, it says right here, makes growth time of a berry plant 75% of usual, so 25% faster, but causes soil to dry out 50% faster. Yikes. Uh, damp mulch? Uh, makes soil dry out 50% slower, but causes the growth time of a buried plant to be 150% of usual. So, keeps the keeps the water, keeps the ground wet, but makes the berries uh, grow longer. Stable. Make, makes berries stay on plant for 150% of usual time before dropping off, because if you don't pick berries before they, uh, before they uh, are fully grown, they wilt, and the berries just either disappear or they fall on the ground and plant and grow again. So this, this gets you a chance to pick the berries up before they wither. Gooey mulch uh, makes berry plants regrow from dead plants 150% of usual number of times. So eventually if you just keep on having a berry wilt and die and have the berry drop, uh, it might not replant and it'll just die and then it'll be gone. So this'll keep it going for at least 50% more often. What are you doing here? Do you want to buy some rare berries? They have some extremely powerful effects. Oh boy, hello. Leechy berry, gamlin berry, salic berry, patea berry, apricot berry, lansad berries. What would a starf, enigma, mickle, custab, jaboka, roap? Oh boy. Okay. Oh, ooh. Okay, so what exactly do these berries do? Uh, let's see. Leechy Berry, uh... Raises attack when HP falls below 25. Uh, raises defense when HP falls below 25. Speed. Special attack. Special defense. Critical hit ratio. Uh... Sharply raises a random stat. Uh, restores 25% HP when damaged by a super effective move. Uh, raises accuracy of the holder's next move by 20%. Causes the holder's next move to go first in the priority. Damages attacker by an eighth of their HP if, her, if our Pokemon's hit by a physical move. Damages attacker by one eighth of their HP when the holder is damaged by a special move. Oh boy, these are weird berries. Also, very rare. <laughs> these are incredibly rare berries. Huh. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They don't normally grow. You have to like, I mean, you have to find them from like Pokemon that ho are holding it. I'm gonna take a look. Let's look at Lychee Berry. How do we find one of these? Uh, event. <laughs> okay, cool. I guess Lychee Berries were in uh, the Hoenn games, but very rare. Yeah, these are all event berries. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, you want to have a battle? I was meaning to enter a contest, but beating you won't take long. Oh, please, no. Ooh, she's gonna have grass Pokemon. Yeah, this is bad for us. 
Hi, Kendrick. Let's switch out. Let's not be here. Uh, I should not switch to Brent. I was gonna go. I was gonna switch to Brent, but then I remembered poison is bad. Grass and poison. Grass and poison. Grass and poison. I mean, I'm gonna play, so why not? <laughs> Our safety balloon. Spike sucks. Air slash probably sucks more for you. Ooh, Sunflora. We'll just keep you out. That way Brent gets more experience. And doesn't fall victim to spikes. Or Sunflora. It's nighttime! Uh, you have thus beaten. I mean, she was gonna enter a contest. She might not be a trainer trainer. Like we are. You and I, let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau of battle. Guy uses big words. <laughs> William, the tableau is a big word. <laughs> oh God, it's Smeargle. Okay, Smeargle can have literally anything, so I'm afraid. <sighs> this Smeargle is gonna have like stupid, oh, Spore, wait, Spore put you to sleep? Oh, I'm thinking of, what am I thinking of? I have no idea what I'm thinking of. Wake up! Oh, Stealth Rock's gonna suck. This Smeargle's has like a competitive move set. I hate it. Spore to put us to sleep, then it's setting up. Now it's doing Nightmare because I'm asleep. Please wake up, Kendrick. You need to wake up now before the Nightmare hurts you. You ever had a nightmare so bad you take damage? Oh, and it has Leech Seed. You're an awful, you're an awful Pokemon. Oh, it didn't faint. No, it had Leech Seed. I don't think I'm going to be nightmared again, but it is definitely faster than me. Hopefully Spore isn't a 100% hit move. Aha, it missed. Why'd you use Nightmare? If you use Spore, I might have fallen for it. Terrible. Awful. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, yes. You know what? We'll switch to May. Am I gonna get the Intimidate off on it? Ow. Forgot about the Spikes or Stealth Rock. I do get the Intimidate. Good. You deserve it. I at least can hit you with something. And I get you with this. Wow, crit hit and I only kicked it once. Ooh, Brent at 30. Might be evolving after this fight. A third Smeargle. I mean, it is an artist. What else would it have? This trainer normally has three Smeargle. Well, luckily it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. Look what problem Kendrick had. Magnificent. I am aglow with inspiration. All right, let's see if the let's see if the friendship checker is correct. It's not. Yee. The friendship checker lied to me. Maybe I was mistaken. Let me reread that. Poke test. Friendship checker. If it has two small hearts, it's between 200 and 254. Uh. These Pokemon evolve when they need to have a friendship of at least 220. Ah, uh, <laughs> I was incorrect. I thought it was 200. Who told me that? Where did I get the number 200 from?
I don't know. It says 220, so I guess I just read that and didn't see the second two. Alright, so, if it's 220, uh, and Brent had it before, then... How, would we, how did we raise it? Let's see. Why do I not... Why is it not holding the Soothe Bell? I mean, I had the experience share, so let's see. Level up. That would have boosted it to 202 minimum. Uh, I think, yeah, that, I think that's the only thing I could do currently is uh, level it up and walk. Every 128 steps, there's a 50% chance the whole party gets one friendship. And you know, not have it faint. That's something that can happen. Oh, hello. Hello, you're a trainer, aren't you? Oh, your Pokemon look hurt. Let me heal them for you. Oh. Why? I'm, <laughs> I'm scared. Your name is Cassie. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. I'm a huge fan of Bug-type Pokemon. They're nasty, mean, and yet beautiful. You get what I mean? Some of them are really strong, too. I just can't help but gush about them to everyone. In fact, how about I show you some beautiful Bugs right now? I'll try and fight closer to your level, but don't worry if you lose. So, shall I show you my beautiful Bugs in an unofficial battle? Ah, uh, I can't say no. I mean, I could say no, but I feel like I need to find out. Brilliant. Here come my nasty, mean, yet beautiful partners. Ah, crap. <laughs> oh, no. I was not expecting this. Hi, Elite Four Aaron. All right, we might be boned here. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's see. Bug poison. Uh, uh, let me just switch over to my help, Dwight. <laughs> oh God, I'm already poisoned, yikes. And that's toxic, that's a bad poison. What item do I have? I have the cherry berry, right? So that's gonna, oh, it's not that. I think it, I think cherry berry wakens me up. Ooh, you are a suck Pokemon. Okay. I need, a, I need to cure my poison. It's probably gonna do, I don't know what it's gonna do. I just need to cure it because if I don't cure it, it's going, that's HP restore. It's gonna get worse. Awful barrier to get to the next town. Oh, thank God you tried to use Protect, and it failed. What? No, oh, the 5% chance, no! Oh, you know what's gonna happen next turn? It's gonna use Protect. Hold on. Oh, that would've, that would've really helped, Dwight. What an awful time to miss. Thank God I hit this time. Oh, thank God it missed. Ooh, it has leftovers and only did that much? This might faint it. Okay, thank God it was a crit hit. Okay. Drapion, ooh. That's not a bug Pokemon! <laughs> That's not a bug Pokemon at all! Okay. I feel like we've seen a Skroopy. This is what it evolves into, but Drapion is Poison Dark. 
Oh, it's faster. Uh-oh. I hope this bulldoze helps. We didn't do a lot. It did slow it. E! Night Slash, don't do much! Stop, 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 stop. Wow, that sucks! <sighs> what do I do? <laughs> I guess May. That way, you know, your Night Slash is gonna do nothing. Or, it should do nothing. Also, that'll help. Uh... Take normal damage from. I'm just gonna hit you with a spark. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. You just kind of negated what I did with their with your uh, intimidate there. Oh, sword dance. Uh, double kick was not the right move. Oh, you're so going to heal yourself. Excess your bug move. Yikes! This Drapion blows! Uh, you know when you know when I was saying that I probably should heal? Yeah, I kinda feel bad that I didn't heal. Uh who do I send out? Who's fast? None of you are! Wow, your speed sucks! <laughs> your speed's 24! Your attacks is 018. You are a baby. So that's why I kind of want you to level up very soon. I guess Dwight is my fastest Pokemon, really? Well, I mean, if if Mei was faster than Drapion, then I guess Dwight is faster than Drapion. But it's gonna heal. He's gonna use a Hyper Potion. Yeah. Full Restore. I should have expected that. And it has Night Slash, so this is also going to be bad. Because it's going to hit me, and that's going to be super effective. Or I could crit it! Oh, that was a Pale Berry move! I was half expecting Night Slash to happen, and I was going to prepare for the worst. Scizor. Okay, so that actually is a bug Pokemon. Oh, I have no fire moves. That'd be so great if I did. I, I have nothing better. A fire would have been four times effective. It's the only thing that's more than one time effective on you. Ow. Why'd that do so much? Oh, you're faster? Why? Oh, you got hit with Aftermath, though. Okay, that's... I'll take it. Um... Uh-oh. Yeah. Hey, let's send Brent out to die. <laughs> Hi, Brent. Remember when I said I was trying to raise your friendship? Yeah, getting KO'd is not going to help that, will it? Uh huh. Honestly, my best bet is to heal Dwight up again. Cause no one else has anything that would work. May could do another intimidate, but I only get to heal one Pokemon up. And Dwight, Dwight has flying moves, which is good against Bug. Dwight also has the most HP. If you can tank a hit, Brent. Never mind. Uh, yikes. Anthony's gonna be another sacrifice because there's no way Anthony's gonna survive any hit. Tank this, Kendrick. Ooh. 
Kendrick at least got some experience to level up. Not gonna do it much, this next Pokemon. Ooh, Dwight leveled up. I might just Beautifly. Ooh. Well, it's bug flying, so. Flying moves, electric moves, ice moves would work. I'll keep you in, Kendrick, but you're gonna get sacrificed here to get a. Uh, How much does the energy power do? 50. Get Dwight up to almost full health. Oh, he air slashed me. Okay, Dwight, I need you to do what you do best and get a crit hit here. <laughs> That's rude! Wait, how many more Pokemon does he have? Oh, he has two Pokemon left. I thought he only had four. I need Dwight to stay alive. Venomoth. Another bug poison. It's gonna do Toxic Stall again. Or Toxic Spikes. Oh, darn it. Anthony, your sacrifice is not in vain. If I had more revives. Yeah, bye, Anthony. You know what's gonna suck the most? If I faint here, I have go I go all the way back to Orberg City. I also probably had a choice to not fight this thing, but I decided to. Oh, you're faster. Don't poison. Don't poison. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna use two super potions in a row. Cause it's probably gonna do sludge bomb again, and it's probably it's probably hoping that I I, po I get poisoned. Yeah. Don't please. I have to rely I have to hope that it doesn't hit me with poison. Darn it. I don't have a full restore. And I'm not faster than it. So what do I do? Do I just hope that I can outspeed it? No. You had Psychic? There was no winning. There was no winning. After I got poisoned, it was doomed. Ugh. Well, I wasn't prepared for you. Oh, this is a scripted fight. I could have won. No. Oh, that sucks. I wanted to win. Ha, ah, that was fun. Don't sweat about losing. I'm gonna leave four member after all. So have I shown you the greatness of bug type Pokemon? No, I hate them. Either way, I've got a TM for you for listening to my spiel. The purely offensive bug type move X Scissor. All right, it was great to meet you. See you another time. You know what? Maybe it's thematically proper that I didn't beat the Elite Four member. So, I'll take what I get. <laughs> At least I got to keep my experience from the fight. We were so close, though! Uh... You know what did it? It was the missed Air Slash. I'll, I'll blame Dwight for that completely. Hi! Oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far, my, far away my hat penny could have run. Maybe a penny. Go back into the poke while you go. Oh, back into the poke while you go. I'm Kira. I'm a Pokemon judge. You should have dropped by the contest hall so I could thank you properly. Okay. All right. We are in Heart Home. Warm, <laughs> warm indie kind. Is that sign misspelled in the normal game, or is it just misspelled here for some reason? Uh, 
trivia. It doesn't say. Hello? I'm visiting here all the way from the Hoenn region. I've been hoping to find the contest hall, but being new, I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people very kindly led me to my destination. I was impressed by their kindness and generosity to a complete stranger. Now, may I offer you the courtesy of showing you to the contest hall? Sure. Ah, please follow me. Oh, no follow music? That sucks. Where's the Pokemart? That lady's walking in place. There's the Pokemon Center. This is the contest hall. Please do go inside. Okay. Do I? Hold on. Yeah, let's go inside. Oh, my hero. Oh, hi, Mom. Oh, hi, Cassie. Here. Wait, no, really? Johanna is your mom? So you might be a contest star. Oh, I don't know about that. I never heard Cassie have any inter and have an interest in contests. I'm surprised you two knew each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Here's a simply dazzling stone. Oh, there's the last evolutionary stone we need. Take this accessory, too. Oh, thank you. Put that accessory on your Pokemon for a contest. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Cassie? Yes, what are you doing here? I got bored, so I came out I came out to Hard Home for a little vacation. I'm just surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests? Not dressed that way. When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. Ooh, I got a dress! I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the contest, honey. I mean, you're my parent. You probably bought me these clothes that I'm currently wearing. <laughs> contest will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now! Sorry, Mom. I'm not going to follow in the family business. Well, there seems to be a line here. You're going to enter contests? But I don't see a Poffin case. It could be tough for you to win contests without it. But if you're determined to enter, don't let me stop you. It wouldn't hurt to get some in some practice at the counter on the right. Well, I just had to get him out of the way. Oh, there's a clown here. Wait. Oh, I thought I was stopped there for a moment. A Pokemon fed Poffins does better in visual evaluations. I better learn how to cook delicious Poffins at the Poffin House. Oh, God, Poffins. A contest has three parts. Visual, dance, and acting. The contestants get graded in those categories. Duh ho ho. Hello there. Yes, I beg your pardon. Ah, we oui. Contest you're here for. I hope very much you enjoy them. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Heart Home, is also a contestant. She is, how you say, très fantastique. Fantina being myself, of course. Hmm, let me see. You also seem to be très strong. In fine, so it shall be. I will wait for you at the gym. Bye, Fantina. That's the gym leader. Uh, I'm glad I talked to her. I'm glad I went inside and saw her here, because I had to talk to her to get her to go back to the gym. Well, today wasn't all that great. <laughs> we did lose a fight to a gym, to, a, to an Elite Four member, thankfully. So it wasn't like the worst thing in the world. But knowing that we were ever so close to actually winning the fight sucks. And the only person we've lost to before is, I guess, another gym leader. But that also does... That also does, like, lend credence to the fact that I need to go level up more. So, is Brent still above two hearts? He just got over it. He might have got underneath it after losing that fight. No, he's still two hearts. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Oh, 
Everyone else is at two hearts. You're at one heart. You're also at one heart. Okay, well. I tried. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this episode. We managed to make our way to Heart Home. On the next episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, we have some places to go search around town. And there's a lot of things to do in town. Well, yeah, there's, there's quite a bit. We're gonna avoid the gym for a little bit, because I think we're gonna level up our Pokemon. What's a good what's a good level to go to? I you know what? I'm I wanna say 36 just because we get Kendrick to evolve. But that also seems like a very high number for this next gym. But once again, I don't know what the gym levels are, so it could be whatever. What's the normal levels of the gym in here? Uh. Oh god. <laughs> I better be careful. I completely forgot there's a Pokemon here. Yeesh. Where's the gym? There's the gym. All right, so the the level of the of the gym leader is <laughs> way lower than it is now. I don't know if it might be closer to that, honestly. I mean, it, it might be in the 30s. I mean, it should be in the 30s, but it might be in like the mid 30s. <laughs> I mean, Aaron's strongest Pokemon was 31? So either 32 or 34, I'd, I'd, I'd guess. So 36 wouldn't be a bad number to, to go up to. Plus, maybe it took a few will evolve and not be so weak in the strength and speed department. So, on the next episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, I think I said that already, we'll be going around town and uh, seeing what's in Heart Home. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Enjoy.